The National Human Rights Commission has reported an alarming increase in human rights abuses in Nigeria with 106,604 cases recorded in June alone. The reported abuse include 1,667 cases of child abandonment, 19 security personnel killed, 148 kidnappings and 240 cases of killings across all states. The North Central region had the highest number of complaints, followed by the South South, South East and the South West, the North West and North East as recorded significant numbers of abuses. Specifically, the report highlighted 58 cases of rape, 2,436 cases of domestic violence, 600 cases of sexual violence. There were mob actions in Jungle Justice and Bochi, Ondo and Ogun states, and high levels of killings in Benue, Kaduna, Bronu, Kastina and Niger states. The dashboard has also reviewed areas that require our immediate attention. For instance, we have noticed emerging challenges in areas such as freedom of expression and targeted abductions. The defilement of minors still presents for us a worrisome situation. These incidents have huge implications for the enjoyment of human rights, and I urge the federal and state authorities to be alive to their responsibilities to protect the right to life and human dignity. While acknowledging the efforts already made by stakeholders, we urge that securing the rights of citizens in these emergencies become the ultimate goal of every intervention. Today's presentation will once again offer us a comprehensive overview of the current state of human rights in our country. Since the elections have been over last year, we have not really witnessed attacks on police station. But in the month of June alone, we had three different attacks. Two took place in Ebony and one in the Federal Capital Territory. Again, we want to continue to emphasize that attack on law enforcement, including law enforcement infrastructure, is an attack to the protection of human rights. Uh, the killing of law enforcement and military, we have emphasized it month after month on their implication for the enjoyment of human rights. Uh, both the, the military, but especially the police, are the frontline defenders of our liberty. And when they attack like this, then our liberty faces a huge challenge. The National Human Rights Commission has expressed concern over the high level of violations of women and children's fundamental rights and is working with stakeholders to provide shelter for abandoned children and reunite them with their parents.